Hi everyone, it's Helen Griffin here and thank you for joining me today. So today we're going to be using these two gadgets here to make this beautiful and cute little envelope mini album. The album's really easy and simple to put together and I'll be showing you step by step how I did this throughout the video. So I've used the colour label printer to print off the photos and I've used the, oh I've also used this one to do the, um, the labels and throughout the album as well. And I've used the ribbon and label printer to print off the ribbon so I've just gone for a pattern this time so this is a lovely snowflake or it could be a flower but I'm going to use it as a snowflake so let's move all these aside so I can show you the album and then we'll get on with how to make it so let's undo the bow so this is just made from six envelopes just uh, just ones I had in my stash so here on the front page we have our naughty elves so this album is all about the things that happened around the house and things like that so there's not actually a lot of stories here about the people that's in my main album so um these naughty elves got up to a lot of mischief here one broke into the fridge and wrote naughty words on our food and the other one put himself in a jar and farted so if you want to make this naughty elf all you have to do is get a big jar and a bit of kitchen towel and some peppermint oil and you put that right at the bottom there you stuff your uh, elf in put the lid on and make yourself a little sign pop that in as well and then um, yeah the kids absolutely love this and the grown-ups too so when they take the lid off they get a nice whiff of peppermint so yeah that's what uh, elf farts smell like so here we have another one where they drank daddy's beer so daddy had to go along with it and you know he was like oh no they drank my beer they drank my beer so the next day the elves reappeared <clears throat> and they had some chocolate coins to say sorry and then sorry we drank your dad's beer and my children wrote back that's okay dad didn't find it funny we love you so yeah they love the elves so let's move on so here we have our pepe the poncetia he started to drop his leaves because um my husband brought him back in the cold he learned his lesson never to uh do that ever again and here we have my kitchen sink then we have uh christmas eve we have cookies we made some snowflake cookies and some hot chocolate i got my cup in my christmas eve box and then we have christmas day where we had our nice celebrations and some champagne and then here we have a blank page here because I'm going to write some journaling on there. And here we have a selfie in front of my tree. And I took a picture at 12 o'clock midnight for Happy New Year. So that was my Christmas back in 2017. So that's all journaled now. So, um, not journaled, that's recorded. Right, so let's get on with all the things that you're going to need to make this album. So we're going to be using this paper today. It's called All That Glistens and it's from first edition paper and it's also available on the Craft Stash website. So let's have a quick flick through. So you get some lovely tartans here of creams and blacks and golds as well. Some lovely snowflakes and trees. Some lovely Christmas themed papers here. And towards the front there's going to be foiling and some glitter as well. It's not the sort of glitter that's going to come off, it's stuck to the page really well. So let's get to some of the glitter pages. This is one of my favourites. You can see some beautiful glittering there. And then we have some foiling here as well. And some polka dots at the front. Right, so you're also going to be needing some envelopes. So you can make this in any size you want. So whatever um, envelopes you have to size that will be fine I have six here you could probably add a few more you could probably get away with a few more um, I'm sticking with six for this one and I have my front covers cut already so they're going to be front and the back and I'm going to be printing a ribbon as well for a closure and I'll be showing you that gadget in a moment and these are all my papers here all cut out and ready so I've measured my envelopes and I've got um, an eighth of an inch border around the outside of the um the papers so let's move all this aside i'm going to be sticking with just the envelopes now so i've got my glue here this is so quick and easy to put together so with your first one you fold over the flap completely backwards and then we add some glue so i'm using cosmic shimmer so we add some glue around the outside of the triangular part just like so and then we're going to take another envelope this is going to be our outside cover so this will be this will be our front cover and we're going to add this around upside down now 
and then we're going to stick it straight onto the envelope and we're going to line it up on these outside corners here and then press that down once everything's lined up so we're going to keep building our card sorry our mini album this exact same way Just adding the last one now. There we go, so our book is coming together really nicely now. So now we just need to put on the last little bit. So we're going to add some glue all around here. So the reason why I'm not putting glue in the centre is because you have a choice here of um, trimming off a sliver off the end here and, and creating a pocket so the glue on this end here of the of the triangle is going to stop anything going through and all the way out and this glue here will be along this side here so it's not going to um, get in the way of the pocket being used I hope that makes sense okay so this is now our outside cover and then we have a nice little book ready to be filled so now I'm going to um, print a ribbon off so I'm going to be using the ribbon and label printer this is from brother and I'm just going to be really quick there are other tutorials that we've done on this one so I'm just going to quickly print a ribbon so I, I want my ribbon to have a pattern on it so you can scroll through there's absolutely uh, there's 20 to choose from so that's quite a lot so I like these snowflakes so I'm going to choose those and I'm going to select a label length I'm thinking 500 millimeters which is 50 centimeters that's half a meter that should be enough for me to go all the way around and tie a bow as well so I'd like that and what I have in the back is a white ribbon with gold ink so that's going to match our project really well. And I'm going to press print and it's going to come out here. There we go, some lovely gold snowflakes. And there we go. Right, so I'm going to cut this in half now. Grab my extra sharp scissors and then we're going to add this onto here just like so and I'm going to use some double sided tape for that. Try and go towards the centre as much as possible. I like to use a clear acrylic block to cut my ribbon. Sorry, not ribbon, double-sided tape. Okay, so I'm going to press that down really well. It just helps it to um, lift the backing off. Or so she says. There we go. I do have the end of the ribbon here that came out the printer first so I'm going to add this so it's hidden. I'm also going to line up my ribbon as well and there we go there we have our ribbon ready to be tied so now we can add our front covers. So it's important, I do this all the time, to add your ribbon first and not forget because I always forget and then don't have an album with a ribbon. So always try and remember to put that on first before you put on your front and back covers. Okay, so now we're ready to do the central bits. 
So we have our papers here. So you would have seen the photos already, so I'll show you again. I've got them all printed off here and I've used the Brother printer here if I can get it to reach along. My wire's got a little stuck. There we go. So I've used the Brother printer to print all of these labels out. They're like stickers. So they're going to be really easy to add to our album and they're self-adhesive so they come off really well. So I have here some Elf on the Shelf shenanigans and a Ponsettia. So these are basically the events and little things that happened around my house um, over Christmas and I just wanted to make, uh, make a memory of the small little things that that usually get forgotten so this isn't about the people it's about the um the little funny things that happened and the things i want to remember so let's grab my phone okay so i have this here this is on an android phone and it will work on a tablet and it also work on the apple as well so um iphones it will be fine on that and you can also connect it via your pc as well so i have my cartridge in there already it's a 50 millimeter cartridge so let's go to new design this was so easy to install as well and we do have some other um tutorials on this as well just in case you wanted some more information on it so i'm going to add a photo to this and I'm going to go to photo gallery and this is going to connect to the, fi the, the, the pictures on my phone and we are going to scroll through to the last one because I've printed everything out so it's still on the elf on the shelf this was my very naughty elf broke into the fridge one night and labeled things with a sharpie pen so let's make this larger So I can move this around as well. So I'm moving this right up to the centre because we have all this white space here that we need to get rid of. So I'm going to approve that. And then over here there's some uh, digits here above the canvas and that will be your canvas size. So I'm going to tap on the digits and I'm going to shrink this down to 68.75. And that's shrink, shrunk it down just to the right size. So I'm going to click approve. There we go, so this was our naughty elf writing things on the food with his sharpie pen. The other one was in the fridge door writing on the milk. Oh, the kids thought it was hilarious. So let's add all the papers and then I'll be right back to show you um, how I'm going to be adding my, um, my photographs. Okay, so I've decorated the album now. I put my photos in, so I'll show you what I've done with the photos. I've mounted them onto some of the uh, spare card, sorry, the spare paper that I had left from the pad, and I've created little tuck points here. So there's just glue along the bottom here, so we could tuck things in. And just so people know that they can pull this back one out, I've added a little note there, so people know that they can just pull that out and look at the other one, because there's quite a few photos for this double layout here. So I've also added some more. Um, gold glitter card underneath these labels and I'll be showing you how to do those labels in a moment I still have to label the elves so um, I have one for my Ponsettia we called him Pepe and one of my kitchen sink window then we have Christmas Eve here this is a co cookies and hot chocolate and this was in our Christmas Eve box and then Christmas Day we have our dinner and our champagne and then here I've left a little spot here because I'm going to do some journaling on here and just about the rest of the book and here we have Happy New Year so I have I took a picture of my clock when it turned 12 o'clock so selfie of me in the background with my tree right so let's go back to the beginning here 
Oh, let's show you the front cover as well. I printed another picture out of my tree and I've just added another label there that says Christmas. You can add the year underneath as well if you want. So let's get on with making the label. So let's go back to our colour label printer and our mobile app. So I have in here mounted in the 50mm, so we're going to change that out. So we press this button and we hold it down and it makes a funny noise tells us it's doing something and then that turns off and then we can pull this out now there we go and then I've got a 12 millimeter one here that I'm going to put in that just slots in there just make sure whenever you change a cartridge you do that that button there okay so now it's telling me I've changed it so let's go to new design and I'm going to go to background first because I'd like to choose a colour. Let's see if I can get the right shade again. It's one of these ones, I think. I think it was that one I used. Approve. And I want to add a frame. I'm in, I'm in Elegant because they do white frames in here. So I'm going to go to that one, I think. Yep, I like that one. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Approve that. Okay, so I need to make my canvas a, a bit smaller now, so let's just press on the canvas. That's the smallest it will go. And then we're going to add type, and we're going to type in Naughty Elves. Done. We don't want that black because I'd like it to be vibrant so it can be seen. So we're going to go to colour. I'm just going to tap white and approve. I'm just going to double check that that's central because I'm not too sure. So let's tap on the writing again and then click typeface. And click a line there and that's okay. So I want that text as well actually. This is where we can choose the different fonts. So that's the font I want. I click approve, I'm going to click print and then print again and I'm going to wait for that to come out. And there we go, there's our little L label. So I'm going to put this one across the top there, let's take those out peels off like that and then we can add that to the top. There we go, we can put these two back in. Yeah, we'll have him at the front with the fridge. Okay, so that's today's project. I really hope you have a go making one of these. The envelope album is so easy to make and with the colour printer this only took me less than an hour to do so it was really quick and easy and it's perfect to have handy around the Christmas season so you can just print off your stickers as you go and I'm going to tie this into a little bow now and then take some photographs for the thumbnails and everything. So thank you for joining me today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you next time.